All right, folks, this is the Star Wars AT-AT vehicle. Uh, after uh, getting it for Christmas uh, from my wife, my wife, uh, as many of you know, my wife gave it to me for Christmas uh, 2010. Now, today is June uh, 16th, 2011. It took me six months to open it up and really just try and do a review of it. It's so big. I mean, as you can see, just to give you a bit of a... A comparison a scale of how big it is these are my cabinets um, if you remember in my collection video this is where this is the part of my room of our room where I have all most of my shelves of my figures and as you can see look how big that thing is it's like a small dog or like a dog a regular sized dog occupying the whole space right there anyway uh, I'll do my best and try and show you show it off to you guys uh, I don't know if you even have space to actually move about. There is a switch right here. Yeah. Which you can activate the sounds. Um, and I guess I'll show you the sounds first. Um, so over here, you got three buttons. You can push them once or push them, press, depress them for a long time to activate the sounds. First one. It's just laser sounds. You push it again. For a long time, it says that. You try it again. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You see it again. And those and those voices, um, you can also activate those voices uh, with with the other buttons that are present on the vehicle, which is inside, which we'll show you again later. The second button just uh, shows you the sound of uh, the ATAT -AT walking, I suppose. Shows you, just lets you hear it. Um, what else? Hmm. Yeah. And the third button. Just prepare to target the main generator. Yeah, there you go. But if you press it once, it's just the sounds. Yeah. Target maximum firepower. I think the the voices just recycle with these buttons as whichever one you press, either this one or this one. It's pretty cool. Okay, um, articulation, uh, he's got some ratcheting joints here, uh, and here, uh, this one doesn't have, this one just has swivel joints, I think, um, but they do, they do ratchet forward and backward, um, the instructions say just for optimum performance, or whatever that means, just keep the legs in a straight position, and so that he's the most unstable form, but you can actually move these legs forward and backward, he has a knee joint, and a hip joint for each of the legs. So that's pretty cool. The head, uh, it's like floating on on a joint here. And uh, if you if you push on, if you lift the uh, this lever up, you can actually sway the neck forward and backward. I'm not pretty, I'm not pretty spiked. Uh, I'm not, you know, and I'm not really too keen on this gimmick. It's just just makes the the joint very frail so well it is there okay um, the other gimmick is for the guns let me just find it oh here we go you can you can move the guns with the with the switch with a with the uh, a, a lever over here and then oops sorry just uh no lights though the Oh, they, they do have lights, sorry. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, at the back, over here, you can open it up. And, and you get that sound, and then you push this button. And to um, deploy the uh, a speeder. Which is pretty cool. Um, I just need a, uh, a scout figure. I actually have one which is still in packaging right here. 
but I'm really trying to look for one that is uh, more for the uh, that has been painted for the hoth environment. If I can get one loose, I'll probably put it there. Uh, this thing is still a work in progress for me. I don't have as many figures yet. I really don't. Actually, there's no figures yet to display in him. They both open up. The other pan the other side opens up as well, just like this. You get more buttons here. You get a button here. Red light. Yeah, I see a red light. Launch speed of bike recon patrol. And then you get, I suppose you can open that and then you can play it. You can play with it that way. And you know, try to recreate the scene from Empire Strikes Back. Uh it's really great. Rebel snow speeder squadron approaching on your flank. Yeah. Over here, you open the front cockpit. Uh, you can see that the cockpit will fit several figures. This this um, playset actually comes with just one figure. It's a very very old, ancient uh, ATT ATAT pilot. Which, uh, from the looks of it, as you can see, it's got the cut swivel joint here, and really just an old looking figure that's been repainted. I think it's a 1990s figure. Uh, it's really crappy. I mean, it, it it's a good, this you know, it's just a good figure to, to, to display with this, uh, vehicle as a pilot. But for articulation and playability, it's really crappy. Now, if you do have the old, the legacy, um, I think I have the legacy, pilot right here. Yeah, this one is a much better looking figure. Obviously, better joints. Uh much better paint detail I think and even the detail of the helmet I think is a lot better on this one yeah I think this was the, the this one is I think better uh, a better figure so if you have a lot more of those um, I think you can uh, uh, yeah you put in here uh, I'm seated right there or stand him up uh, I'll, I'll fix it later on have him seated. Uh, the other figure that you might want to add is where is here? The at at commander or General Veers, I think. But the box says he's just the at at commander. You can actually have him here. Uh, that's pretty cool. There is a button somewhere here. Yeah, here, right here. You can activate the voices. Oh, it does keep having that? What the hell? Sorry. Okay, just uh, make sure you support the head before pushing any buttons. Okay, stand up now. Okay, there is a button right here. Rebel forces spotted. Preparing attack vectors. Distance to power generators. Range to target. What rebel base located? Ah, I see. That's it. The rebels are there. Darth Vader's voice, I think. Can only be activated by this button. The, rebels are alerted to the other voices presence. you heard can be activated by the other buttons as well. Rebel forces in range. Forward deflectors at full power. Red lights. I see red lights. That's the same uh, sound effect you get from that but from that button over there as well. So a lot of a lot of the. A lot of the voices or the sound effects are just recycled among buttons, but I think the Darth Vader voice can only be activated by this button, I, I think. I've reached the main power generators. All troops will debark for ground assault. Yeah. All right. Don't fail me. Uh, the last few gimmicks are here. I don't have the Luke Skywalker Hoth uh, speeder. Um, yeah, the Hoth speeder figure, but there is a... Uh, if I can just find it. There is a... Where is it? This. There is a sort of a hook that you can extend here and then you can reenact the uh, how Luke Skywalker destroys an AT-AT by you know, he, he has a harpoon, launches it, clips it on the belly of the AT-AT, AT, 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 and then he sort of climbs up 
and slashes the belly with his lightsaber. And you can re reenact it with this uh, grappling hook sort of gimmick. And then you push this button and then it's sort of a... Yeah, you lift the figure, Luke Skywalker up like that. And that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the gimmicks that my daughter loves, Alex, is this one. Uh, uh, for the troopers to actually get in, you can actually have, you can peg them on here, you can have two troopers, I think, here, and then uh, they can go up. Oh, how do you do this? Like so. You just rotate this uh, uh, knob right here, and then uh, it will. Uh, Lift these guys, lift the troopers up via this uh, crude elevator. So, there. So, anyway, uh, it's a great set, especially for, for a lot of you fans of, of the Empire Strikes Back. If uh, uh, you, you like big vehicles, you like the movie, you're gonna love this one. I was really, really, very excited to get one. Never thought I'd get one, uh, but my wife was just very, very generous in giving me, giving me one. So, that's pretty cool. Um, out here in Manila, I'm not sure you can buy this on retail. Uh, I haven't actually seen it on retail. I actually bought it on at a hobby shop uh, somewhere in Green Hills. Uh, cost me a lot, actually. Cost my wife a lot. Uh, but uh, it was very cool. I'm very, very, very happy with it. So, there you go. That's uh, sort of my crude review of the Star Wars AT-AT -AT vehicle. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you found it insightful. And I hope you, 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 you know, if you like it, Go ahead and pick it up, add it to your great collection. Uh, speaking of my wife, uh, today is June 16th, and as you know, a couple of days from now, uh, for 2011, June 19th is actually Father's Day. And as a very special Father's Day gift for me, my wife went ahead and bought me a couple more Star Wars stuff. I actually tweeted this on, tweet on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, I think I posted it. That my wife got me four the four new... Um, Star Wars Clone Wars uh, vehicle figure packs for 2011, the first wave, uh, which includes the Republic Scout Speeder with, a, I think, an ARF Trooper. Yeah, very cool. Um, I'll put him here. The General Grievous Attack Cycle. Very, very cool. Very happy with this one. Uh, the uh, Separatist Droid Speeder, which is very cool. A lot of people were not, were, were not paying attention to this one. There were people pick, picking up the other sets, but I think, I think this has the potential to be the best in the entire lot. I think. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when I do a review on it. And lastly, this is the one that a lot of people were really gunning for, really trying to get. This is Castus with a speeder bike, if you remember that episode with uh, Boba Fett and uh or a sing and you know where r2d2 becomes a star i think but anyway um but this is from a great episode in the clone wars uh just to complete your rebel uh just rebel, to complete your your uh, bounty hunter uh gang uh it, it's a great great addition so hasbro really did a good job with this with this uh with this wave, I think it has some of the best uh, vehicles and figures that I've made. The only problem I have with this set, uh, with, with this wave, is for the first time, I actually had to go through several on the shelf to find ones that had the better paint apps. And that's really strange for me because Star Wars has always had impeccable quality control on their paint, paint apps. And for the first time, I actually, these vehicles and figures actually have very very poor quality control on their paint apps and I had to go through several just to get the ones I wanted and uh, which is really a shame uh, the Grievous bike had some off painted misaligned painted here the gray dark blue on the gray they were misaligned um, the ARF trooper figure the uh, the paint on the helmet just really sucked uh, some of that paint on cast speeder uh, some were smudged and all that uh, droid the droid set had the best one among the lot. So, which is very, very strange for me. I think uh, with this wave, the, the quality control and the paint apps for Star Wars figures have begun to dip, which is really, really such a shame because they've always done it very well. And uh, so there, there you go. That's uh, my little bit of a, a haul review as well, together with the ad ad. So, I uh, hope you keep watching. Stay tuned for more reviews of these guys and uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Thanks for watching.